What's up, County Lifers? We're here with the, one of the iconic members of the County Life, Ripley from 97.7 The Rocket. How are you doing today? Excellent. Glad to be here with you. Yes, sir. Uh, Ripley, I want to tell you, as a fan, you have the voice of an angel. <laughs> a 50-year-old man angel, but nonetheless, it's like hearing a voice from the heavens. And I'm finally, I'm glad to finally see your face to match with it. So thank you for that, first of all. I've never, been, I've never been called that. I've been called many things in my life, never an angel, but thank you very much. It's beautiful. Anyway, Ripley, we're here. We're here at the uh, Bike Fest. Uh, tell all the people a little bit about the artists who are here and uh, a little bit about how musics and bikes just go together so perfectly. Well, thank you. Uh, it's great being here. Earlier, I got to hang out with Sam Grow from Sam Grow Band, and uh, truly one of the nicest guys you'll meet in, in music. And a lot of these people I've talked to over the years, even the, the, the top uh, performers we know, down to earth, regular guys, they've gotten older, they're mellow, they're, they're cool, and uh, it's such a good time. But music and the bike lifestyle has gone hand in hand ever since I was a kid. Uh, in St. Mary's, riding a motorcycle 19, my old Suzuki, going out to the clubs and chasing women and, and watching live music. And it was always part of going every weekend in the summertime, you had that happen here in Southern Maryland. And it's something we need to have back. We need more of it. As you see, people of all age groups come here. Uh, not just the old folks like me, but you got a lot of young folks like you. Because it's a party, it's a good time. And motorcycles, I think, draw in a vast uh, demographic of people regardless of their age. Definitely. Now, you know, there's kind of like a myth or a kind of, I guess bikers give off a, a certain aura that maybe they're badasses or you look at one and kind of a little bit scared of, you know, they don't care about anything. But tell them how, how something like this kind of dispels that. Uh, excellent point. You know, um, people see what they want to see. And the media puts out what they want to put out. And it's not just with bikers, it's with hip hop community, it's yeah. with uh, rap. And, and some of it is done on purpose by the performers or the people in the lifestyle. Yeah. And a lot of it is a conception people want to see. If you take 100 bikers here, and I'm, I don't care if you're riding a Japanese, uh, we call crotch rocket or a Harley or a Victory or whatever you're riding, if you take 100 of them, the vast majority of them are going to be professionals, retired military, yeah. lawyers, doctors, dentists, uh, orthodontists, radio DJs. Yeah. The f minority are the, the so-called badasses, right. the salt of the earth kind of people. So it's a, a, a myth and a stereotype I think is played up for effect. Sometimes our fault, but mostly the media puts it out because they want to. And it's not just the old guys. They do it to young guys too. And uh, it doesn't matter what walk of life, we all get our little share of the nastiness, right? Exactly. Thank you, sir. Wise man right here. Lastly, Ripley, uh, what's the perfect scenario for you riding your bike around here in St. Mary's County? be honest with you, uh, my favorite time to ride here is in the spring and the fall, when it starts to get a little bit cooler. Yeah. And uh, getting my wife on the bike, a couple yeah. friends, going out for a nice meal and getting out on the, the side roads with the Amish folks and all that, and not a lot of traffic is what I like. Yeah. And, and basically getting out and enjoying their fresh air. What I don't like is, uh, unfortunately, way too many people don't see you. They yeah. don't look for you. And uh, I know a lot of us do things that don't help too, riding like lunatics. There's an old saying, I know a lot of reckless riders and a lot of old riders, but I don't know many reckless old riders. So we know they're not looking for us, so we got to be responsible and make sure that we take it easy. But give me a cool autumn day, a leather jacket on, let's go to the mountains, I'm happy. Perfect. There you go. Taking it live with Ripley right here, 97.7 The Rocket. Check them out, Afternoon Rush.